Okay, we're back again, and I'm going to show you different um, things that you can do with the uh, Freckle website. It's a great website. Um, let's get started. I showed you in the last video how to add students and add assignments. Uh, today what I want to do is I want to show you the uh, student version of this. Uh, the great part about this website is you actually have the View Student app. So you can click on that and it's going to take take you to the student app. So this is nice if you, let's say that you need to um, show your kids how to actually do something. Um, you can display this on your on your smart board and the kids can see exactly where they should go um, so you can see it's pretty basic okay if I had something assigned to me or that I assigned the kids would go from my teacher they click there there's no assignments for me here um, and then really you can do language arts or math so if we want to do math we can do number facts you can do number facts you can do math practice click on there all right we have uh, different levels you can see these are locked and we have to add collect this. the ingredients so we can bake a cake select the number below okay so now you can see now you try one plus one equals you can see you can um, click correct. on it the correct answer is one plus one equals two zero plus one equals now you have you have to click on the numbers here you can't type them in okay and correct it reinforces the answer is zero plus one equals one five plus zero equals you can see here that they there's two there are we did two out of ten questions there's a little progress bar um, the kids they can earn different coins and then they can buy a different avatar they can buy different backgrounds and um, all sorts of different things with the coins that they earn. Now, it, you're not going to earn coins if you unless you finish it. So if I click home, I didn't earn any coins. So that's one thing that you might want to tell tell the kids that you have to complete your assignment in order to get those coins. Um, that'll just help them stay on task. If we go to the language arts, there's all sorts of different ones that they can do. Let's say we want to read articles. We want a nonfiction article. Okay, I want to do, how about a biography? You can see the different um, different people and you can click on one and you start reading it. You go through it and then there are questions on the side. Just, I'll answer some questions after you finish reading. So we have to finish it. And then after we finish it, I'm going to go quick. If I go quick, I can't click done reading because it knows that I didn't read it that fast, which is a nice feature. So I'd have to make sure that I, um, that I am reading it and then Now I've spent enough time, they, they say, and click done reading. Okay, now I use the text to answer the questions. The good thing is, is you can go, come over here and you can scroll down. This is just like if you're do, doing an I read test, your questions are over here and your article's over here. Make sure the kids go back in and find their answers. Okay, so I go through and I and you answer the questions and after you after you're done click submit I'm just gonna hit some uh, hit, hit some answers
So you can see, oh, I didn't get that one right. I have to try again. Three coins lost. You can see the one that I got right, I earned 10 coins. If I didn't get it right, um, no coins earned. All right. So you can see that the incentive if the kids, if they get the answers correct, they get more coins. If they don't get the answers correct, they won't earn coins. All right, I'll be back with more videos. Hopefully this helps.